Welcome to the Autosys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn how to check the summary, tabular, and flow information of an existing job view. Additionally, you'll understand how to utilize the on hold and off hold actions to temporarily pause and resume execution. Furthermore, you'll grasp how to employ the send event action on jobs to change their status. To enhance the learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called Hedmeral Bank to demonstrate how and when to use the monitoring interface to view the job flow of an existing job. Hedmeral Bank is a multinational financial services holding company involved in consumer banking, corporate lending, asset management, wealth management, and investment. It has many branches across the world. Hedmeral Bank heavily relies on automating various tasks and processes using Autosys workflow automation. One of the treasury management systems that assists in managing liquidity, cash flow, investments, and other treasury-related functions is scheduled for maintenance due to system upgrades and enhancements. Running jobs during this maintenance could lead to errors, data inconsistencies, or system overloads. To avoid disruptions in the automated workflows, the operators at Hedmeral Bank decided to use the on-hold and off-hold actions to temporarily pause and resume the execution of jobs. Before we put a job on hold, let's understand how the on-hold and off-hold action functions. The on-hold action prevents a job from starting. The off-hold action removes the job from the on-hold state. If the job's starting conditions are met, it will start. A job that is marked as on-hold does not start or resume execution until the off-hold action is applied. Temporarily prevents the execution of dependent jobs. Marks the box and the associated jobs on hold. Let's enter our training environment to use the on-hold and off-hold actions on an existing job. Log in to WebUI and navigate to the monitoring interface to view the job flow of an existing job. Ensure Views tab is selected on the left side of the navigational panel. Double-click the Views folder to open it. Here, you'll find all views assigned to you. Click on any existing view from the list. The Summary tab of the selected view will open automatically on the right side panel. This tab displays summary statistics on job status and alerts of the selected views or servers. You can quickly monitor the status of jobs across the enterprise and respond immediately if there is a change in status. Click on the Jobs and Alerts tab to view the jobs and alerts associated with this view. Here, you'll see the jobs and alerts displayed in a tabular format. Click on the Flow tab to monitor a view using a graphical representation of interconnected workload objects. You can quickly see the status of each job and job type by its icon, status color, review the jobs contained in box jobs, and see the job predecessors and successors. Let's search for a job you want to manage. Use the search box and provide a partial search string. Once you've found your job, click on it. The same job will be highlighted in the Flow tab. To put the job on hold, simply click on the highlighted job, right-click, and select On Hold Action from the pop-up menu. Click Yes to confirm the action. Autosys displays a confirmation message. After confirming, the job is now on hold. Refresh the page to view the changed status of the job. Now, let's start the job flow and monitor the status of jobs within it as the flow progresses. You can also check the summary tab of that view and refresh it as needed. You can see that one job has on hold status. Now the job flow is on hold Hedmeral Bank can begin its maintenance without any worries that there will be conflicts or issues. By putting the job on hold, it will pause the execution of the job until an operator issues the off-hold command. Once the system maintenance is completed, now you can take the job off hold. To take the job off hold, right-click on the job again and select Off Hold from the pop-up menu. Click Yes to confirm the action. Autosys displays a confirmation message. After confirming, the job is now taken off hold. Refresh the page to view the changed status of the job. Now the job will start as all its starting conditions are met and the remaining jobs in the flow can run normally. 
You can also check the summary tab of that view and refresh it as needed. You can see that no job has on hold status. You can also select the auto refresh checkbox to automatically refresh the page. Let's learn how Hedmeral Bank efficiently manages job status to ensure smooth workflow execution in Autosys. Hedmeral Bank generates large volumes of transactional data. The bank shares reports generated by recurring jobs with various departments within the bank and with external partners such as clearinghouses, auditors, and regulatory bodies. Occasionally, a job shows a failure status after processing, even though the job was completed successfully in the back end. This issue occurs when the correct status is not updated in Autosys. To resolve this, the back end application team advises changing the job status so that the subsequent job in the workflow can execute. A failure status of a job affects report generation and prevents other departments from receiving their reports on time. To address this challenge, workload automation operators can use the send event action on jobs, enabling the process to resume quickly and ensuring timely report generation. Let's start by checking for any job failures in the summary tab. You can see that one job has a failure status. After receiving confirmation from the backend application team that the job has executed properly, it may be skipped in the current run. To find the job with a failure status in Flow tab, select Failure under the Select by Status and the failed job will be highlighted in red. To change the job status, right-click on the job and select the Send Event action from the pop-up menu. Send Event dialog box opens. In this, ensure the job name is correct. Then select Change Status from the Event drop-down menu. Select Success from the Change Status drop-down and provide a reason for the change in the comment box. Confirming the event sends it to the job. Autosys displays a confirmation message indicating the status change. Finally, refresh the page to see that the job now has a success status. With the failed job marked as successful, the next dependent job can start, allowing the workflow to continue normally. Now, the reports for Hedmeral Bank can be generated and sent out to other departments. Thank you for watching the training video.